Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your man, DJ One. I'm in the building. Hey, real quick, I saw my man, uh, Raul. Uh, he was doing a tutorial on trap hits, on trap uh, hi-hats in the MPC. And the way he was doing it was correct, but there's an easier way to do it after you put in about 10 minutes worth of work. Um, so I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make that happen, okay? Uh, I'm not going to give you through the take you through the whole 10, 20 minutes. I kind of pretty much got it set up already, um, but you'll see how to do it, and then you'll be good to go, and you'll be straight, all right? So let's go ahead and let the title screen run, and then we'll be back in a minute. Let's go. All right, y'all, I'm back. So like I said in the opening, I saw my man Raul at Lifted Noise doing a tutorial on getting those hip hop trap uh, uh, hi-hat rolls that you see that a lot of people use in doing in Fruity Loops and stuff like that. And um, he was on the right path with showing you the key group. But there is a way to do it where if you do these, this one little thing, it makes it a whole lot easier for yourself, okay? And I'm gonna show y'all that. So if you go ahead and look at the MPC screen that I got up right now on the MPC software, if you notice, I got all these dots here, okay? That's the actual hi-hat patterns, all right? I just used a different time signature, all right? So I recorded them in a quarter phrase, all right? So when I say a quarter phrase, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, when that count right there, that's a quarter, okay? All right, so I recorded them in a quarter phrase so that you got some 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 freedom to play with them, okay? So I got the basic uh, uh, chill trap hit that he, that he had on there, that right there, okay? So and what I did was I just drew in the patterns, all right? I set the BPM to 120. I'm going to tell you why this is important. Um, later so I put the BPM on 120 and then what I did was I just went through the different time signatures okay that's the different time signatures the different uh, note values okay so the four is quarter the eight is one eighth one sixteenth so on and so forth then you got the triplets okay um, and I just went through and I did all of them but I only did them in a span of that quarter note Okay, um, and I recorded all my different patterns. That's the eighth, one eighth. That's the one sixteenth. That's the one thirty second. The one sixty fourth. The uh, four triplet, eight triplet. I'm sorry, the eight triplet. The sixteen triplet. The thirty two triplet. I didn't do the uh, sixty four triplet because it's pretty close to the normal sixty four. So there's really no reason to do it. Um, so what I did was I just typed those in there, and then what I did was I clicked the little pencil on the track and put bounce to sample, okay? That gave me this little thing right here where it says bounce slash hi-hat. If I select that, boom, you see that? That's all of those different audio files, I mean all those different hi-hat patterns put in an audio file now. And then what I'll do is I'll put them in a the key group and I'll assign each one of these to a different set of keys, okay? And then I'll give them a, a total of 13 keys, center that, because that's a full octave. Two, any more thing higher or lower than that, you're not gonna use, it's gonna be inaudible. And even the highs is a little too high, um, but it just keeps it simple. So it's like every C note is the middle, is the natural sound, and then you got four octaves lower, not octaves, four semitones lower, five semitones higher, okay? Uh, that's how that works. So you see all those patterns there? So then what I did was I went to a key group, made a key group, right? Let's open up that key group right there. All right. So this is your key group menu. I got seven different key groups, okay? The first one is the basic hi-hat, okay? Number two, that's number one. Number two is the one sixteenth actually. I press any key starting from that C. See that? That's the 
that's that 132nd. So you got that low and you got that high, okay? Different variances. Then I set up three, same thing. Now when I'm doing that, you see how it's truncated to just that one thing for that, that, that uh, one rhythm for that one specific key group, okay? So you do that for all of them. Let's see, let's go down all of them. See how it's moving? Key group four, key group five, that's that triplet. That's when the triplet series start. And you just go on so on and so forth and you set it up to correspond with whatever key. Just remember when you're doing this, whatever um, um, octave you're using, okay, whatever is your, your middle note, that is what your root note needs to be set on, okay? So I just kept it simple. C on all of them would be the change in the pattern for me. So C was my root note on all of them, okay? So C1, C2, C3, C4, so forth, okay? Um, put them on mono so they cancel each other out in case you got some overlap. I like mine's on note on, and then I add a little bit of release so it cuts natural. Um, it just doesn't have an abrupt stop, okay? I put some filters on it. I put a compressor on it. A little trick I'll tell you for trap stuff. A chorus on it. Not a lot, just a little. Okay, um, and there you go. Now you can you see what I'm saying. You can just play with it on your different keys, and then if you got a pattern that you 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 put out or whatever, then you can just go ahead and adjust it on the screen. And your uh, uh, what's it called? piano roll <laughs> sorry y'all it's like really late here right now in uh, the piano roll so let me see just wanted you to see that okay once you do that once you set up that key group that key group is that 10 minutes that it's going to take you to set that up once you set that up though now you got your entire piano roll that you can play with the different pitches the uh, different patterns and all that stuff like they do on Fruity Loops, okay? So just a real quick tip, key groups, hi-hats, work great with uh, 808s also, okay? You got more that's come out, take time, subscribe if you like that little tip right there, and I'm gonna holla at y'all later, all right? Cause I gotta get to bed, all right? I'll holla at y'all later, y'all. Peace, I'm out. I said I was going to tell you why I put it on 120 BPM. I put it on 120 BPM because that's kind of the start, the trap BPM uh, range. And then that makes it where I can warp it. So I'll have all those patterns going, right? But I'll, plug, I'll select warp at 120 BPM. Now, whatever I put the song on, whatever BPM I put the song on, the patterns will always stay in time. Warp. That's another thing key feature. I'm going to do an in-depth tutorial on that because I see some people don't un quite understand what it did is and how to make it sound good in your, in your uh, project. So be looking for that soon. All right. So real quick, make sure you subscribe. All right. If you haven't, help your boy get to a thousand followers. I'll let y'all later. And make sure you check out my man, Raul, that lift the noise. All right. I'll let y'all later, y'all. Peace. <laughs>